Hello, Silverleaf69 here. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Divine Journey. Starting in the, the workshop again, as I turn around you can see some things have changed. Let's get to it. I will show you what has taken place since I've last uh, seen y'all. As you can see I've moved the screen over here, cleaned up that area there, laid out some chests along here set up machines um, I'm gonna kind of try to explain what I've done here I will uh, pull out a wrench and as you can see there's conduit facades covering up conduits and different things there's some in the floor here let's go ahead and bust the floor open so we can come on down here um, let's see, I'm saying um a lot, um, 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 let's get that out of the way, um, um, so, we kind of discussed briefly priorities in the last episode when I set the screen up, and so I'm going to go over that a little bit more and show you what, what I've done here with the priorities. As you can see, I moved the, the big reactor from here, and we'll show you where that's at shortly. So basically, I have this ender chest set to green, 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 and that's my uh, dump chest. I basically put things in there, and it sorts it with priorities. So it goes through the conduits, and we'll come over here to the uh, controller slave, and if we... Uh, hold shift down and uh, I'll call that the knuckle of the conduit where it kind of bends there sometimes it can be going in a bunch of different directions and it's really hard to click on sometimes but if you hold shift and you left click on that it actually opens up the menu for you and as you can see I have this set to priority 50 <clears throat> that's the highest priority I have in the system is this controller slave so this is going to be where it looks to go to first priority 50 it's going to go here and say can i put anything in any of these drawers that have already been assigned to anything if so put it in there and if not let's go and find the next priority which is going to be these uh, chests here these are priority 49 and as you can see i've got them set up above a pulverizer, induction smelter, and sag mill. And these three chests are all priority 49. So it goes to 50. Can't put it there. Let's come to 49. What is 49 you say? Well we have an existing item filter in here and I had a bunch of ores in each one of these and I took a snapshot of the ores. In this pulverizer, these are all the ores that I've told this pulverizer to to go ahead and process for me. The induction smelter, all these things. And as you can see, I've got a, a gold pickaxe. Uh, when you fight the... Uh, 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 yeah, um, uh, i got to really work on that. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So the... The gold pickaxe, the the, cy the cyclops, I think it's what he's called, he drops three to five of those every time you kill him. Well, if you process that in the induction smelter with sand, you get three gold ingots out of it. I'll go ahead and show you what, uh, oh geez, get over it. <laughs> I'll go ahead and show you what the sag mill can process these items in here and unfortunately when you hover over it it doesn't show you what they are oh, priority that's uh, behind the screen I'm hovering over this here that's kind of odd but it would be nice if it actually told you what they are but you can kind of tell what they are there's copper copper gravel or that's iron gravel copper gravel, copper, and so on. So once it's done priority 49 and it's processed it, I've come over here to this uh, 
this gold chest. And I've got that set to priority 48. Any of these ores are going to go ahead and be dumped into the gold chest. Sometimes, like the pulverizer, or the induction smelter rather, once it's processed will make ores again and those are going to get cycled back in there because when it comes out it comes out on the green channel which is the main channel it's going to check that first check it second then check the diamond chest it's going to go in here i just showed you that it's going to go in here this is set up oh sorry this is set up to extract on white so it doesn't check that or these it gets extracted on white and it goes straight in to these two alloy smelters which are both set up to furnace only and then when it's done there it gets pulled out the green and it checks first that which most of the ingots are already assigned well if it's not and the ingots which it should be if they're in this system they should be assigned already over there but if not then I have these chests over here set to different mods. If we plop down here, which I may not have needed to come down here, go ahead and hit that knuckle. These are all set to priority 40. Because maybe I might want a few things in between, you know, 48 and 40. Maybe there's some other places to go. And I got a mod item filter. This one's extra utilities in Thomcraft. And I have remote awareness upgrades in all these chests. And that allows this screen here to not only see the storage drawers, but it sees these chests as well. Any, uh, any um, of the conduit that has remote awareness in them will be seen in this screen inventory panel. These are basically, I think these are different priorities. Let's go ahead and shift that. Yeah, these are negative one, which means these are the last place. This one and this one are both negative one. These are the last place in any of my system they'll go. If they can't find anywhere else to go, it's going to be dumped into here. So then I know, oh, I should assign signs to a drawer somewhere or redstone comparators this one maybe i need to put the hellhound in the right drawers and so on and so forth so that helps me keep the uh everything kind of organized a little bit better and uh let's see we'll get to that in a second Let's go downstairs here. I made a room down here. Clean this whole room out. Put ceiling, walls, and floor down. Expanded the big reactor. We needed more power. Put the cyanide reprocessor right here. I put a power tap here with the this the 640 RF energy conduit the smallest one you could uh, you could make why do I keep saying uh, I don't have any idea conduit so you have energy conduit enhanced and ender so this is the energy conduit which doesn't require much power for that and then I have it running under the ground over here to the vat which I have rotten flesh and nether wart being piped in the lime channel. A basic item filter. And up on the controller there, where I have priority 50, I have it set to export as well on the lime channel that I am pulling things out of. So I'm pulling rotten flesh and nether wart out of it and putting it into here to create nutrient distillation. And that's basically what powers the inventory panels. And as you can see, I have one down here as well, so I can access it here. <clears throat> and you can see a bunch of uh, pipes and wires down there. I kind of just set these oreberry bushes up just for something to have fun and harvest every once in a while. It gives me a few ingots here and there. 
which come in handy once in a while. And over here is the start of the cobble works. I have, let's go in the behind here, I have a transfer node, <coughs> excuse me, with the world interaction, stack upgrade, pulling out cobble. It's going into the pulverizer making sand and uh, and it's also going in the redstone furnace making stone so I have the stone once it's smelted go up and over it's being pulverized into gravel going over making flint and uh, if oh geez quit that already in the pulverizer <laughs> you got the nullification chamber augment which pretty much destroys anything in the secondary output. This uh, redstone furnace, this pulverizer is making the sand, gravel's getting destroyed, making glass, the sand is coming over making silicone. I just kind of slapped those two on the end. I w had plans for those to actually pull out into the rest of the system, but I just ended up putting a chest here and as you can see the cobble is also being piped out of there into this chest into the main system to make the octuple compressed eventually and I have a drawer controller here for all the uh, the different things in here and I got that set to a priority of 49 with the remote awareness in there so this is being seen on the system as well and behind here I've got an endless loop. Oh, that slag should have been being piped out as well. Let's go ahead and uh, and fix that. Oh, it is. So this must be full. Yeah, 2048. So this is making slag. It's pulver. It's uh, smelting the lead with the sand which is making ingots and it gives you a percentage of getting slag. Then I have the ingots being sent over the pulverizer to make dust that's being piped back in to the dust, being smelted, endless loop. And here, um, was it? No. Oh yeah, right here. That's sand. So I have the sand coming out of that drawer being piped right into this induction smelter so it's getting endless sand as well so let's get on to that and I have one other thing that I really want to do in this episode <clears throat> after showing you what all I've done I've done quite a bit so I wanted to set up these smelteries to make me uh, clear glass and seared bricks because those are used for the machine frames right machine frames basic machine frames you need seared glass which is made with seared brick and you could use any kind of glass the clear glass works so I figured I may as well set up some smelteries well I wanted it to auto shut off I didn't want them to continuously run so I set these drawers up here as a kind of an interim spot and when these uh, hit a certain spot that hit hit a certain level they would emit a redstone signal which would come up here and I got them set to black and white white for glass black for that a seared stone with a strong signal so it would emit a signal and shut off the timer that's up above which I'll show you well that worked in theory except for like I told you I have priorities well it would go to priority 50 once the drawer in the drawer system was full then it would go to 49 which is can't go 48 is all the other chests which those are mod specific so if there's a, a mod chest which there is above this room for Tinker's construct it would start filling that chest up with the items once that was full it would go to the negative one and start filling those up then these would back up and it would shut it off. Well, that didn't work very well at all. So in reality, these chests are no longer needed the way I have it set up now. 
I can basically run this pipe and this this conduit and this conduit directly into this main line that goes back to the main system take these chests out and just run them straight into there and as you can see I have insulated redstone conduit and that's going up there and that is running let's see if I can get back in through up here that is running from here a programmable red net controller and basically I've set this up to greater than or equal to so it's looking to the left which is black it's going up to this drawer seared brick when that seared brick which if I hold shift and check has a redstone upgrade when that emits a certain level of redstone 15 or greater it's going to emit a redstone signal down which is black as well let me see if I can get right up no, I can't anyway trust me it's black well don't trust me let's hold shift and check it there it is black I fought with this thing for a while I didn't realize that the red redneck controller could talk to the conduits so I was trying things I put a block of stone here in between the redneck cable and the redstone conduit which just killed my FPS it dropped down to like nine it just destroyed it and then I figured out I did some testing and figured out it will read this signals even the white on here so if we come back over here and look I have it set to let's go to the next to the right side is white which is going up to that drawer when that hits a signal it's gonna set a signal to the back which is going running all the way down there which I've already showed you and then it will shut off these timers here which they're running right now because those aren't at the level and let me see can I bust a hole in the ground and just go straight down no but we'll figure it out let's put this lava barrel which I went off and filled up directly under there and it's going to start filling those up. I'll f obviously fix all that stuff shortly. The uh, the controllers to these are downstairs as well. I kind of put everything down low. So I have uh, gravel or gravel cobble going from a cobble gen down here into this chest which is a intermediate chest which is pumping up to that side and then I got it pumping into this pulverizer which I've turned into a reinforced one so it'd be a little bit faster which once it's clogged isn't needed which is going up to this side here with a chest going into the hopper going into the controller and smelting down so see how it's filling up now it's got all that molten glass in there which is being piped into here and into the system but that's why I said I need to take those out oh, I'm sorry making you guys dizzy and as you can see pouring it in there pulling it out oh creeper get away the, did you guys hear that that was close that scared me oh my gosh that could have been messy was that a creeper or the spider? Yeah, that was that creeper. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, these are doing their thing. And eventually, that will turn red. Because the redstone signal is going to come through the floor. And it will turn that timer off. Which will stop producing the seared stone bricks. And it will stop producing the glass and it's separated so it's when this one shuts off it can be separate this one will shut off by itself so anyway enough rambling on about all the the different things I've done I may add another smelter in here for uh, let's see gears maybe I'm gonna take the shortcut we're gonna go to 
Let's go to the storage. And then let's go over here. I want to do something in the runic dungeon over here. Holy cow. Oh, that's Zeramus hard at work. I'm going to show you how uber this this crossbow is with these bolts. And we're going to go into the runic dungeon. I still have not edited that video that I keep talking about in several episodes. Sorry about that. I will someday get that out to you guys. Huh. Let's uh let's go ahead and open up another room. We got a key. Let's look at our map. Let's go this way. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. And it just so happens they've already got one set up for me. How amazing. Thank you, Dungeon. That was not pre-planned at all. <laughs> if you can see in my bag here, let's go ahead and pull that out. I brought along four Soul Sand and three Wither Skeletons. Because I actually wanted to do this. So let's bust the one of these heads off and we will place it down and I'll show you just how uber this crossbow is. Let's get out of here for a second. Let's let him blow up. Alright, now that it's dark and I can't see what's going on All right, now the sword time. And there you have it. He is down. He is out. Did we get the loot? We got the loot. Division sigil, nether star. And as you can see in my bag, that's not the first nether I've killed, but I wanted to show you guys just how crazy easy it is with the gear that, that I have. Um, Dark Helm. I, ha I didn't even trade my reinforced jetpack, which is armored as well. What you can see, I have fuel efficiency 4 and fire protection 3 on that. Um, still pretty much full, full hearts, full health. Epic epicness. Let's go ahead and pick up those arrows. Get a couple of heads. A couple of ender pearls. Well, that was fun. Ish. <laughs> um, let's see. It's midday. Uh, come back next time. I will do the division sigil for you guys as well show you what's up with that if, if you don't know how how the division sigil's done uh, we will we will do that let's teleport back to our base right in the middle and I did separate some things here too I'll blabber on for one more second I went ahead and moved magic mod stuff up to the second floor as you can see, Botania, Divine RPG, and there was Thomcraft and Witchery. Two more floors, hundreds of drawers. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them all. Just so many that I don't even know what to do with. Because we're going to have AE coming up here soon. And, well, this is one way to store stuff. And it will definitely save me tons of channels in the beginning if I was to do chests or something. So this will help me out in early AE, but once I get later in the AE, this is just going to be a pretty building. Fancy building. 
this is just manual machines, manual processing here if I want to do something manual. Anyway, enough blabbering. The train derailed once or twice in that presentation. I said um and uh hundreds of times probably. I'm sure you can leave comments about that down below. Anything I can improve on or do better? The comments would be great. I appreciate everything. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.